Hey, hi, how are you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome to the Gamertron Show. Now, I want you guys to do something for me. Don't worry, it's really simple. I want you to watch the gameplay. I mean, really watch the gameplay. I'm putting up some gameplay of Watch Dogs in this video, and I want you guys to watch it closely. I want you to watch my every movement, my every action, and I want you to take into account how truly amazing everything that happens here is. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm the only one in the world who truly loves and appreciates video games and who sees how great they are, their true greatness. Now, I know I've talked about this before and I may be just reiterating myself or I may sound like a broken record, but I feel like I, I just want to talk about this. I feel like I need to talk about it. I watch television, I read books, and I watch movies. And then I play video games. And it feels like two completely different, separate worlds. As I've said before, I'm an action junkie. I love action, explosions, gunfire, laser fire. I've said this all before. And the more I play action video games, and I have these epic, player-created moments, when I have these moments, these scenes, these segments of gameplay that I helped create myself, that I made those own actions, created these own events, these own epic kills, moments. I feel a satisfaction and a feeling of entertainment that I cannot grasp, I cannot obtain from simply watching movies, television, or reading books. And I don't think people, enough people, I don't think enough people appreciate the imagination, the greatness, the astoundment, the, the fantastical things that come from video games and just appreciate the video games that have come out so far and what they have accomplished. I mean, watch an action scene or a gunfight from some action movie or thriller movie that you know, and then watch this gameplay right here of Watch Dogs. Look how action-packed, dynamic, well-directed, well-paced, well-timed. Look how visually appealing this gameplay is. And all this gameplay that you are seeing right now is one of a kind. You cannot see this anywhere else. This is one of a kind, and I made it myself. Every shot fire, every explosion, every enemy fallen at that time was because of me. Just think about this. Comprehend this. I know I'm getting really spiritual and deep in this video, but that's where I'm trying to go. I want people to think about this, to understand this, to see how special video games are so that they'll appreciate them and love them all the more. How important, precious, and wonderful gameplay is. Ignorant and arrogant people complain about video game violence, yet violence is so perfectly portrayed and visually appealing in video games. And one of the reasons it's so visually appealing is that you can watch the same scene, you can replay the same scene, mission, chapter, segment of a game, you can replay it, do it again but do it completely differently, in a completely other epic way. This is what makes Let's Plays and walkthroughs so interesting, and why people will watch more than one Let's Play or more than one walkthrough of the same game. Because something's going to be different. The player is always going to be doing something different. Everybody's going to have their own epic action moment that they created themselves. This is why television is boring to me. This is why books are boring to me. This is why movies are starting to bore me. Because I can watch those and read these and then play this and have an experience that's unique to me, myself, that I created through this amazing, interesting product. You're already seeing this action-packed, amazing, dynamic, visually appealing gunfights you are seeing from Watch Dogs right now in this gameplay video. But there are so many other games that are even more visual appealing and stunning and epic 
due to your own actions or the actions that you viewed of someone else. Those right moments where you made the right movements, the right shots, the right decisions, and created something so visually appealing and epic and wonderful and entertaining and something that will stick with you till the end of time. Something that will stick with you in old age. You'll remember these epic moments, these fun moments you had in video games that you created yourself. And that's what makes video games so special. I'm eventually going to forget scenes in movies, plots in movies, scenes in books, sentences in books, specific words in books, in television. I'm going to forget entire episodes in television. But a game will always stay with me. Scenes in a game, action scenes in a game, are always going to stay with me. Gameplay is always going to be with me. I'm always going to remember it. I'll look at the cover of a video game that I've played, and I will remember all the fun moments. They'll just come back to me in a in a flash, in a, a jolt of, of lightning and reflexes. And I'll remember all the action-packed, crazy moments I had. Moments that were my own. And that will be like that for everybody. I'll talk about Watch Dogs with somebody. And they'll tell me how they went through a, a mission not firing their gun once. And how satisfying it was to avoid the enemies. And how he beat them all with his baton without seeing him, without seeing him coming and how satisfying and epic and interesting that was and I'll talk about how I broke out my shotgun and my machine gun and lay waste to my enemies constantly moving past cover and creating these awesome set pieces that were my own through explosions and hacking do I even have to mention Titanfall with the giant robots uh, flying from the sky, mowing down hordes of enemies, robots exploding, vehicles exploding, pilots exploding. Hell, even the pre-made, predetermined set pieces in linear games such as Bioshock or Call of Duty are just are as visually appealing. They will stick with you because you were moving around in their environment. You made it to the set piece. While it was predetermined to happen when you got there, unlike in a movie or a television or in books, it was always going to reach there. You made it there on your own pace at your own time, and it's special to you in your own way. How you experience a story, how you made it there. If it's a game that gives you story choices, it's all the more amazing and wonderful when you realize you completely altered the story, interacted with characters differently, Something you can't get in movies and books and is only able to be accomplished in a video game. I hope the words I've spoken, and I hope the incredible action and violence you've seen from this gameplay of Watch Dogs has inspired you and made you think a bit harder about how wonderful video games are. Maybe you won't judge them so harshly. Maybe you'll critique them a bit more harder. Maybe you'll realize just how awesome, wonderful, and spectacular video games are. This has been the Gamertron. I hope you enjoyed my commentary. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Please leave a comment of how much you love video games, and if you're just as into them and think they're just as wonderful as I do, please leave a comment of what you think. Please do. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to support me and my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Later.